All right, welcome back to the channel. I took this bike out for a ride. Honestly, I kind of like it now that I got some time on it. The under the seat steering is pretty comfortable. And I was looking last night. Couldn't figure out what this black thing was for. It's a slump drive. So I looked in the paperwork, it turns out it's the speed drive. So, uh, pretty impressed with it. I kind of changed my idea on the body for my cat trike speed since this one is higher off the ground and the boom isn't at such a angle kind of comes more straight out I'm gonna I pulled the body off the cat trike speed and I set it on this one and it actually fits you know I gotta change the sides where the wheel openings are these wheels are a little more forward than the other one but I'm pretty early in the stage on the body, so it shouldn't be too hard to uh, change that. So yeah, and then I tried the pedals. You guys have all been telling me, and the pedals, you know, everybody was telling me to clip in for leg suck so your feet don't fall off and go under. Well, my argument is there's no way my feet are gonna fall off. But I did try the Shimano shoes and clipped in, and what I found is I can actually spin. So, you know, on the back part, I can pull and get more out of it. So, it's, uh, I'm keeping the shoes. I'm pretty new to spinning, you know, it's, it's all new stuff for me. Like I said, I ordered this bracket. This bracket, it bolts on here, and then it comes out like here. So then the steering comes over here. It still keeps that Ackerman steering to it. But right now, you know, that's it. That, that's, that's not a lot. I think it's like, I don't even forget what they said. But once I get that new bracket, It'll more than triple my steering radius. So I can't wait for that to come in. And my new body, these handles will be inside the body. So that'll be comfortable. I might cut these down a little bit so they're not so wide. They don't need to be that wide. But uh, yeah. So here is my Terra trike whiz wheels and I got a battery on the speedometer yesterday I took it to the bike guy and he put air in all the tires I rated for 100 PSI and I had 80 PSI put in them just because I don't want to blow anything out and 80 is I mean it's pretty rock hard anyhow so, my cat trike is built out of aluminum. I stuck a magnet to this one. It's definitely steel. But 36 pounds, not bad. It's all Shimano. Everything on it, Shimano. Even the brakes, Shimano. So, I don't know. It's built pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy. So, let's go for a ride. See what you guys think. All right, I'm on the bike down here by the lake. Uh, winter time's coming. See the trees are changing colors. It's uh, the end of September now. Some good color change. All right, let's go for a little ride.
So now it's in the super, super easy. If I click this over, now it's a lot harder to push. I like that. And these uh, thumb shifters everybody was telling me to get, I was so against them. I'll tell you what, I went for a ride yesterday. I really like them. I guess the problem is I'm so stubborn, I don't like change. But uh, now that I'm actually trying it out, it's pretty nice. Eh, don't mind me, car. Jerk off. Fourteen point eight miles per hour, barely pedaling. And if I put the slump drive back over, see that? Now it's super easy to pedal. Fifteen miles per hour down the hill here. I hate to say it, but I almost like this bike better than my speed. Kick it back over. It's hard to pedal again. Man, is this a nice bike. Coming up to a hill, shift it back over, slump drive. Look at that. What a difference. that slump drive over. Look at that. Man, what a difference. the car so I kicked that chunk drive over a little bit I guess it's called a high it's a speed drive only thing I can find is the slump drive which I'm pretty sure is the same thing I'm not sure if they actually make it or not handles the bumps excellent I bought it from didn't even tell me about that. I doubt she even knew about it. I 
I think this one's a keeper. Not sure what to do with my cat drag speed. Do I sell it or keep it? This one's pretty damn nice. My cat track, my knuckles would be right next to the tire. This one's clearly back. I'm not even trying, I'm going 10 miles an hour. Wait till I get that body on. switch hands, put it on the tall gear ring. When we go back, we'll see how fast we can get her up to. I like these shifters on top of the bar. I didn't think I would, but man, are they nice. Leaves falling off the trees here. <laughs> Starting to push hard here. Look at that. What a dream. Absolute dream. I paid $500 for this bike. I can't believe it. Pretty sure that speed drive costed way more than that. I hear a little squeaking probably in the idler chain ring underneath me. Go through and loop it up. Alright, this video is 13 minutes long, without anybody's watching, so I'm going to end it here, I'm going to start a new one, and we're going to call it the high speed run, so I'm going to kick that chomp drive over, and we're going to go down a hill, and we're going to get me cooking. Alright, if you're still watching, hit that subscribe button.